Right, so this is the first day on OXM's Minecraft server. It hasn't been entirely successful, admittedly. You might have noticed that last night we had a bit of a crash situation because basically our server is just an Xbox being left on all the time. Um, but yeah, despite that, we've had an amazing show. What the hell is that? It's like a waterfall. It's unbelievable. That doesn't look natural. It doesn't look natural. I should also uh, point out that I am being um, joined today by 2 plus 2 is Joe. That's your Twitter name as well, isn't it? It is indeed. 2 plus 2 is Joe, um, who is interning with Oaksam at the moment and has done a fantastic job of keeping things in order and setting up some rules. And we'll see more about that in a minute. Now, hey, it's Devil Kazuya 99 Now, this is his castle. Um, I saw him starting building this earlier today and was quite impressed. And to be honest, he's really, really done himself proud. He's got some details there, hasn't he? Yeah, I I'm really don't understand how he's made those. But he's got a nice little portcullis going on with room for murder holes, which uh, is always a good addition to a castle. I think any good castle needs murder holes these days. I mean, I haven't watched, you know, Whose House Is This or Homes Under the Hammer in a while, but I think it's a pretty essential thing in a 21st century house. Absolutely. If you can't pour boiling oil on unwanted visitors, then uh, what's the use? Yeah, it's certainly something I look for, especially in kitchens. You can see in the distance we've got OXM wood, which is fantastic. It's kind of the hillside. Um, a lot of pain has been seen on that hillside because last night we did have some massive griefers coming into the game and setting fire to everything that had been made. Unfortunately, we lost everything because the Xbox crashed and hopefully we're going to avoid that by basically me dragging it home tonight and saving it at about 2 in the morning. But um, because of all the trouble we've had, we have set up. We've had to kind of go a bit 1984. Do you want to explain what this is about, Joe? Uh, yeah, this is our pillar of decrees. It uh, essentially keeps everyone in check. If you just read through these rules before you start playing, then you'll realise what will happen if, uh, if you do things wrong. I like cool things will win you notoriety and lovers. Classic OXM floating hut with a symbol and a waterfall. Lovely. Um, this, here we have, yeah, a bit of, a bit of vandalism here. Um, I think this might have been torched. This was a lovely wooden house earlier, but now it's gone. A little note though, if you are coming onto our OXM servers, we are wise to it now. And if you're not on our friends list, you can't come in. And if you mess around, then you're off the friends list. So play nice or don't play. But yeah, oh, it's sad. It's really sad looking at this. Yeah, if you are going to build a house, maybe use stone. Learn from the little pig's story, perhaps, because uh, lava is your enemy. Yeah, wolves and lava, they love it. And don't build the city on rock and roll because it's not a functional um, material. This was one of the first, this is the Oaksham Beach Hut, actually, which is the first iteration of it. Um, it did actually have two stories before the crash, before the damage, but it, you can tell it's kind of, it's like a half house, half brick now. And a lovely bit of mine. I mean, it's very polite here that someone's put doors on the mines. Yeah, it's amazing. Just to keep out any monsters that might come out uh, from the coal-rich mines underneath the beach hut. And the swimming pool, I think. I got... Oh, no, I got stuck in this. Um, yeah, I couldn't get out of this for a little while, but it's lovely. It's, a, it's the fantastic kind of water feature you want to get stuck and drown in. I'd like to see all eight people in a game just frolicking in there at some point. If we could organise that, that would be wonderful. Frolicking party. Uh, yeah, sign up for more news about OXM's frolicking parties. Uh, but yeah, you can see already we've got some jetties, we've got um, some lovely beach huts, and this is impressive because this is only literally about six hours of work, I think. Yeah, something along those lines. It, it really did come together very quickly. We left for lunch, came back, and we had a functioning uh, port, I think you might call it. Yeah, we did. I don't know what happened to the boats. I'm hoping the boats are gone because people have sailed off to distant lands to forge their own little adventures. Yeah, there do seem to be a lot of missing boats when there was a, a full marina. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. There might be a separate archipelago somewhere just full of people that we didn't know about. <laughs> it's like the end of a sci-fi film. You might have noticed there was a little note from Beza, one of our favourites on the forum, and he's, he's hidden some treasure somewhere. But we don't have a map because uh, we kind of left it switched on and people murdered us, so we... We've lost our map, um, so we can't find your treasure, Beza, but hopefully somebody with a map will. Here's classic, Mr. Tomma 221, punching a tree. <laughs> punching trees is not the most useful way to spend your time, but we do welcome all sorts in uh, OXM Wood. So that's I, I think it's the perfect way to spend your time, is just, just punching trees. And there's the grave of Beza, who of course died in 2012, death by pasty. <laughs> 
I haven't yet thought about digging under that. Maybe he's still online. He could be under there. He could be. That actually would be quite genius if somebody just dug down and, and just found him there going, Hello! And his death was all just a big joke. Sorry, no one's death should be a big joke. <laughs> I take that back. There's a little uh, a little bit of hard work going on here, though, actually. We've got a full log cabin. Yeah. It does take a lot more work to make an actual log cabin, so I think this guy's gone through a sort of Bon Iver breakup and wants to make folk music in here. Yeah, I, I kind of, I, I, I suspect that somebody might look at all that wood and go, you know what, I'm having that, <laughs> um, to make a bigger wooden thing, but... You know, I wish him all the luck. Oh, this this little hut out here, though, has got some special significance to you, hasn't it, Joe? Absolutely. When I was playing earlier, I was looking for people and got very, very lost and ended up being chased by four or five zombies and uh, came across this house and took shelter for the night. And uh, I can only thank the maker of the hut. I can't remember the name, but I think we're about to see it. Yeah, I think we go inside. Oh, it is Jay Staffo. So thank you, Jay Staffo, for saving the life. <laughs> of our precious intern from giant spiders. That's not something I thought I'd ever get to say. Um, I wonder what's in this hut. Oh, a hole. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem... Oh, dungeon here. All oh, right, so, yeah, we, we were wondering whether someone had made a dungeon to trap people in or whether this was just a cave they'd come across. Yeah, well, thanks for making us a dungeon. <laughs> it's just... It's exactly what uh, the landscape was missing. I, I like the idea that somebody's actually just spent hours digging into the ground just to make a dungeon. Yeah, we might find um, several skeletons under there. <laughs> just, you know, the murder is bad rule does apply, but if you can make it entertaining, uh, yeah, we, we might bend the rules a bit. Yeah, no murder or sex dungeons on our, our, on our server, please. This isn't Second Life. And yeah, I think we just spotted something on the hill. Um, it looked like a castle, and I'm... I'm suspecting that we're going to have a castle on a hill situation. Yeah, um, it does take quite a while to get up the hill because we didn't realise there was already a functional staircase on the other side. Oh, we might just skip ahead to that bit. <laughs> wow, so we found the castle and this looks pretty impressive. My Little Pony, that's a good name. I like your name, sir. And you've got a good kitchen. This is a lovely kitchen. A little window, love that of you. Yeah, he's really picked out the view there. I think that probably captures the sunrise in the morning as well. He's really thought this through. <laughs> this is properly getting into ideal homes territory now. Oh, it's a good view. You can just about see the OXM and the other castle. I get a feeling there's going to be a bit of a castle off here soon. Going to get a bit of a kind of controversial fight about who has the best castle. We were talking the other day about if you could introduce uh, weaponry into Minecraft, what that would cause, and I think this would be an excellent position for cannons. <laughs> cannons? I think I think sniper rifles, frankly. Um, I'm, I'm a bit more into precision. Oh, oh, we found the staircase. This is how you're supposed to get up into the castle. Um, oh, an impressive staircase. Oh, back in again. It's fine. Just wander around. Yeah, I'm just lost all the time in this game. Everyone's so good at making maps. Go up the stairs to my little pony home. That's that's great. He's he's really put the effort in, but I can imagine you would need a sign there because it does appear you have to go through a cave to get to his house. Do you think he just started off making a mine and then came on a cliff first? Quite possibly. This is just prime real estate, but you do have to work to get to it. Oh, we've got a lovely view here. Hopefully, you know, by the end of the weekend, we'll be able to see like a massive amount of lights everywhere. I'd like to see a full functional city, um, because it does look just like little dots of streetlights at the moment, and I'd like to see roads and just houses everywhere. I, essentially, I want to make suburbia in a game. Well, I must say, actually, that Edwin is repeatedly oh. begging us to try and get everyone to make White Run from Skyrim. Um, I, I think it might be a bit too much work, and I've tried pointing out that, you know, the internet are not slaves. But if anyone wants to try and make White Run, then by all means do. You'd make Edwin the happiest man in the world. Oh, and here we have a lovely view to end it all. The OXM logo, floaty logo up in the sky. And a bit of, bit of destruction, but most of all, just lovely, lovely creative stuff. So yeah, that's the end of day one on OXM land, OXM's very own Minecraft server. Do pop on, you'll have to add as a friend to get on because of all the naughtiness. But if you do us as a friend and you don't cause any trouble, then you are welcome to come and live in our fantastic world. And hopefully we'll have another video soon showcasing all of the stuff. Thanks very much for watching and do remember to subscribe.